So let's look at this example. We have a car bumbling along down the road. It has a normal force of 2,000 newtons. It has an applied force of 4,000 newtons and a frictional force of 4,500 newtons. So from this, let's figure out what's going on. Well, we know the car is not moving up and down so because I didn't draw any wheels. So that means that the force normal has to equal force of gravity. So that's 2,000 newtons. Now in Newton's second law says the sum of all the forces has to equal the mass times the acceleration of the system. So the free body diagram for that illustration Here's our car. We have gravity pulling it down. It's not moving up and down, so normal force should be about the same size. We have acceleration, our force applied, and we have the force due to friction. And friction force is a little bit bigger than our applied force. So we know the following. We know force normal equals 2,000 newtons. Force due to gravity equals 2,000 newtons. We know the force being applied is 4,000 newtons. And we know the force due to friction is 4,500 newtons. We've already stated previously to the right and up are positive. So our normal force is positive, our applied force is positive, but our friction and our gravitational force is down and to the left, which are negatives. So Newton's laws says the sum of the forces in any direction has to equal the mass times the acceleration. Okay, so the sum of the forces has to equal force 1 plus the second force, plus the third force, plus however many forces you have. Okay? So, for this problem, in the y direction, we have two forces. We have the sum of the forces equals, our positive goes for first, normal force, minus gravitational force. So that is 2,000 minus 2,000, which is equal to zero newtons. What does that tell us? It's not moving up and down. So it's not moving in the y direction. Okay, so now let's look at the x direction. So in the x direction, we have two forces. We have the sum of the forces equals force applied minus force due to friction. So that's 4,000 minus friction was 4,500. By me putting that negative sign in there, that takes care of the negative that I wrote on the first page. Okay, so that means our sum of the forces is negative 500 
newtons. So it is moving. So next question is, how is it moving? So we need to know two things. We know the sum of the forces has to equal the mass times the acceleration. We know the sum of the forces is negative 500, and it has to equal some mass times acceleration. Well, we don't know mass, and we don't know acceleration. Mass is easy to find. Mass is found in the force due to gravity. Force due to gravity is equal to the mass times acceleration due to gravity. Well, we know force due to gravity, and we know acceleration due to gravity. So we can find mass. So we know force due to gravity equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. So we have 2,000 equals mass times, for easy math, even though acceleration due to gravity is 9.8, I am going to use 10. So mass has to equal 2,000 divided by 10. Get rid of our zero. So that's 200 over 1. So our mass is 200 kilograms. So now we know our sum of the forces, which equals mass times acceleration. Well, just how fast is that car accelerating? We know this is negative 500 equals our mass is 200 times A. So that means A is equal to negative 500 over 200. Our zeros cancel. So that's negative 2.5 meters per second squared. So our acceleration is negative 2.5 meters per second squared. So it is slowing down. At a rate of negative 2.5 meters per second squared. Our velocity is decreasing negative 2.5 meters per second every second.